Well, good afternoon. Yeah, this is an interesting thing. Uh, so I've been teaching a class on electromechanical pinball machines, how they work, how to repair them, how to find them, how to fix them, whatever, restore them. And in that process, um, I got to thinking about other projects, other ideas, something that would be kind of cool. Uh, back at the Chicago Pinball Show uh, last year, the P Pinball Expo, uh, saw a guy had a group of, uh, made a clock out of score reels. And I thought, well, that's really cool. And then I started talking to him about how did you do that? Because clocks and score reels don't count the same. And he said, oh, well, I use an Arduino and I have the reels custom made. And so his clocks are great. They look great. They're really cool. They're interesting. But then I got to thinking, I wonder if we can make a clock out of real pinball parts and real real and you know keep the reels the same don't change anything but make the pinball parts and use it to work so i'm barking down that uh road um <clears throat> this is kind of this is uh probably about uh four hours into this into the build uh it probably took me about three hours to come up with uh 90 percent of the processes and then i drove the schematics and started thinking about how i'd put it together um so the um anyway so sorry i had a phone call come in eric's gonna have to wait so so anyway i bought into this so i, I started drawing it out started putting it together so i thought well you know what i really ought to take some pictures of my build process and kind of get things going to where we're at. So let me show you where we're at. We'll talk a little bit about some of the pieces that I've got going here and then uh, how it's all going to be put together. And then we'll start. I'll be piecing videos in as we talk about each of the progress that I made. So let's talk about what we got here. Let me flip the camera around. And... All right. So I'm out here inside the warehouse. See the big old warehouse, lots of lots of games, lots of stuff. Yeah, and that's my workroom in there. But as you can see, my workroom's really kind of full of stuff too. So we're working over here, outside, outside on the thing. Got it on the pinball dolly. This is the uh, part of the game board that I'm stripping some of the old parts off of. I also have an old head unit that I took the score reels off of. And I'm building it on this board. And let me go ahead and pick this piece up move that there we go so these are the this is kind of the score reel setup they're going to plug right in there something like that there we go okay and then these two score reels here will be mounted here so hours the space minutes okay so i'm starting kind of at the bottom kind of the way the process is going to work in that I'm working on getting the minute process to work and then the 10 minute process and the carry over to the first hour and etc. So as I'm I'm looking at it, it it's that's that's how the process the direction I'm working on it in. So in order to do this, what I've got is a um, transformer out of a pinball machine that runs about 26 volts and also has six volts in it in order to run the lights. I have a fuse system down here, so I have 110 volts power is fused coming in. I have fuses on two more fuses, one on the 26 volt and one's on the 4 volts. Um, two of the score reels I started out. These two uh, relays are my first in my um, when the when the hour changes process. That's going to be this first relay because there's some things it's got to do in order to change hours. Uh, and then this is the score motor that I have picked up, uh, took out of that box and got it over here. Um, it's got multiple reels and things. I'm not sure what all I'm going to use yet. There's just tons of grody, there's wires everywhere, right? Because I haven't really started eliminating wires or putting them together until I get it all done, right? And then I'll make it nice and neat once I get it. So at this point, Basically, all I've started is laid it down. Before I started building the setup, I just had the score reel sitting on the ground, um, and I had it to where 
I push this button here and every time I push that leaf switch it would click a minute and at the end or one minute and at the end of uh, uh, 10 minutes it was using the standard score reel setup it would click over and make the 10 click once and back to zero and then toe 10 all the way up until I got to the 60 minutes well at 60 minutes six zero then it's like oh, okay well now we've got to uh, do something different because you can't just roll over at 10 because it's it's got to be at six right so that's where the relays come in and I'm start trying to work there so that's as far as I got I got that the 60 minute process working to where it kicks on this relay and starts that score motor so that it can do everything else that's as far as I've got so far um, as I get a little bit further and building into it, we'll go back at it. So that's where I'm at. We'll wait for the next video.